Hey guys, welcome back to more PGA Tour, and I just realized we actually have enough uh, points to get either a wood respec, uh, Jessica Corda's wood spec, or legendary hybrid superior precision spec. Um, I, oops, that's not what I wanted at all. Is there anything else? Clothing, I think you have to spend real money on. Equipment, real money, tickets, whatever that is. That's also real money, and that's also real money. Okay, perfect. So I don't know what exactly this is going to do. If I select this, does it tell me anything? Power accuracy control recovery. Okay. I mean, I think that's better than everything else we've got. Um, there's supposed to be a ball spec somewhere. Uh, Lexi Thompson's ball spec, there you go. I mean, that's um, better than what we have as well. There's also the legendary ball, superior accuracy. Ooh, look at that accuracy. Goodness. I don't know. That's, I mean, this is overall better. The other one's just more accuracy. Okay, we lose a lot of power and recovery with that hybrid. We get a lot of accuracy and control. And the, um, the wood is basically better everywhere. Accuracy is a little low, but it's still better than what we currently are using. Um, maybe? I don't know. I'm really not sure what... What is... I think I'm just going to get this. Try that. Equip. Yeah. There you go. Now then. I think we're going into the third. Is this the third round? Yeah. Still leading. 23 under. And wind is 6 to 9. Should be good. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to oh. present the season-long race lot. for the FedEx Cup. This afternoon from TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, live third-round coverage of the players. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. Saturday afternoon here at the Players and Frank, we've been witness to some scintillating golf through the first two rounds. Now it's moving day. And for our featured golfer, this is really an important 18 holes. Time to ask the question internally, can I compete on one of the game's biggest stages? And to this point, Frank, the answer has been a resounding yes. Exactly, Rich. I, I think we've just got to credit the golf that we've seen the first two rounds. Today, for every player that's playing the Saturday round, it is a challenge. It's a challenge really on where they're going to finish come the end of the day, position-wise, relative to the lead. And for a fe featured player, the challenge is just playing the same type of golf that you had for two days, for the first two days. But that's the challenge of golf week in, week out. Can you do what you know you can do? Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that's going to move him to 24 under par. How about this second, a par five? Well, if you're brave, you try and flash it down that tree line down the left, but there's a couple of limbs that poke out. Every now and again, they catch an errant tee shot. 
Oof. I really don't have a lot of... A lot of stuff to work with this, with this tree line. Oh, did that hit the tree somewhere? Whoops. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. Okay, so we got a thing way back there. Power approach, eh? Uh, I can do a regular approach. We can do a finesse. We're going to do a regular approach shot. And be coming in at an angle like that. We're going to do lots of spin. And we'll see how that goes. Try not to... Oh, that was too hard. Way too hard. But it might work out okay. Oh. Barely even rolled onto the fringe. Okay, pretty good shot right there. Didn't quite release all the way out after landing in the fairway. But still, chance for an up and down birdie at this part five. Oh, that's... Can't actually hit it any shorter than that. Okay. We'll switch to a flop. We'll do spin. And we'll go just past the hole. Not bad. A six footer now for Birdie. Yes, can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. And he's got it to 25 under par now. Next up, the 177-yard par three third, the easiest par three at TPC Sawgrass. Two-tiered green sloping from back to front. And it is protected by a bunker in front and grass bunkers to the right. Birdie, definitely in the cards here if you hit a good shot off the tee. Yeah, I'm gonna... Do a bit of a bit of a draw. We're gonna land it there, basically hit it hard. Hopefully. That's nah, not gonna be long enough. But it was Alright, okay. you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. Tough to see any break in this, maybe slightly to the right, heading back up the hill, so gotta keep up the speed. Oh yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. This is really a fun hole here at TPC Sawgrass. A lot of excitement, a lot of action. A short par four. The fourth is only 384 yards. The trouble here on that second shot. You can see the water in front. If you're not accurate, you misjudge the distance, you can pay a stiff price. That should be pretty good. I'll tell you, this is shaping up to be some kind of round. Birdies at one, two, and three. And another good tee shot here at the fourth. So after a big drive, 77 yards now for his second. Um, I think I'm just going to hit a regular shot. We're not going to do spin or anything. Get over that water, most importantly. Oh, and it spun back. That's too bad. Wasn't expecting it to spin that much. Hmm. Didn't hit that very hard. I was expecting that to get a little left. closer. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. But all the pros will tell you the fifth here at TPC Sawgrass is all you want. Challenging at 471 yards. It's the longest par four on the golf course. 
He's gonna crush the stand in the middle. Or we're gonna slightly fade it. I, I guess we're gonna do that too. <laughs> narrow landing areas on these first few holes. Number five, no different, and that is really a good tee shot there. Even though we're kind of going into the wind, I'm going to do spin because we are we are doing this with a six iron. Yeah, that was okay. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. Now, Noda, this for birdie. Not a ton in this. But you have to hit it firm. Oh, oh yes! Oh, yes! Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. I thought that was going to mess. That's going to move him to 27 under par. I'm being perfectly honest. Frank, what are the players facing here at the 6th? 393 yard par 4. Ideally, you just want to hit that ball about 250 yards. It's going to leave you a shot of sort of 140 yards in. Then the green looks quite big because you're far enough back that those palm trees don't become a problem. And that, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. Depends on where the hole location is. Mm. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do no spin. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that is how you get to be world number one. A beautiful shot there to get it in tight. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. And he moves to 28 under par. 20 Can you believe it's Amber Gerd? Vintage Pete Dye, isn't it? It is. Anything other than straight confuses the player off the tee. But there's three pot bunkers down the right side. Just inside that last that last little pot bunker on the left of that, it's actually a pretty good line. Be a nice spot. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that. A little short. And gonna, well, stop it. A little bit of scared and is going to safely gonna, on deck. It's the back. main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Ooh, I'm just going to sneak on by. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Here we are at the eighth at Pete Dye's famed stadium course at the TPC Sawgrass. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novolo. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. And uh, players do too, Rich, especially off that back tee where it must be about 80 yards of shoot that you go through before the uh, hole actually starts to aid, uh, open up. And um, this green, 11 bunkers in total around the whole putting surface. Yeah, we're going to try that. We're just going to hit it hard. It is way into the wind. Oh, just going to end up short. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Long flop should be workable. Um, we're going to do spin. Oh, that'll 
more work. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he's going to maintain that substantial lead. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, isn't it? There's so many options here. Um, just play it away, sort of three wood it down there, then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green. But uh, it's very tempting, especially in the right wind conditions. And that's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right hander from right to left. Then this par five is very reachable. Ooh. Don't end up this in the one water. working up the right side. No, that's good. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Now, from Whatever just under you 300 do, yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a regular approach shot. We're going to come in at an angle. Like this, and see how that ends up. Oh, it's not actually going to make it to the green. What is Has that? to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Oh, oh that was close. Two good shots on this par wow. five. Leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. Not much more than a tap in there. It is a birdie at the ninth. And that will make this an even 30 for the front side going out in six under par. Similar to the first hole, the tenth is a relatively short par four, 424 yards, but it requires accuracy and some strategy. You have to put your ball in the right place. You have dog leg left, you have trees on the right, and don't forget about that big bunker on the left-hand side. Mm, drifting a little bit more. Oh, a lot more left than I would like. Well, there you go. And this may turn out to be a bit of a break. That ball could have gone anywhere, but it ricochets into the bunker. Um, hmm. Let's actually reduce the spin. And... I landed there-ish. Ah, uh, it's not going to be long enough. Damn. And it's going to spin back as well. Oof. A little bit too much sand. Maybe the wrong club. It's come up short. Yeah, that did not work out quite the way I wrote it up. Safely in. It's a okay. here at the 10th. A little bit of a stressor. He'll stay at 29 under. Here we are at the 558 yard par 511. It is reachable in two with a long and accurate drive, but offers a lot of possibilities, including laying up to ensure a short approach on your third. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try and go down the middle of the fairway there. I want to make sure I can get Turn around those trees. Wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Yeah. Make sure those trees are not, not an issue. Um, I'm gonna, ooh boy. Uh, hmm.
Hmm. Well, we could do a high fade coming in from here. I'm gonna barely miss that tree. This is gonna be super risky. Oh. Gonna run out a little bit more, but wow. That was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So after reaching the green in two, this will take a full swing with a putter, but it is for Eagle. You might like this one. You might really like it. Oh! Oh, another thunderbolt right there. What a putt. And he can't seem to do anything wrong in this round. Wow. Now to the short par four. <laughs> yeah, it's just a was casual 45 27 Sure, why not? Players. Certainly you can drive it, but there is some risk involved. And that's the way it should be for a par four this short. That water on the mm. left is right up against the green. So players have to make a decision here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to. I don't think that's going to work, but a sh oh boy. Well, I mean, that's fine. Just go like that and just do a second shot in because we're not going to reach it. So, all right, in the fairway. Like the angle could have been really, really weird. So there. after a well-placed drive, this is second from short range. Finesse with um, no spin. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, we'll go like that. I don't know. I don't know how exactly that's going to end up. That's okay. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. And that's going to move him to, you ready for this, 32 under. Frank, 17 gets so much We're not even on the, the final round yet. But 13 par 3 is exciting in its own right. It is, and it's actually more difficult than 17. Uh, one of the reasons it's longer, um, and also the green here. 17 obviously has two two sections in it, front and top. This has, uh, I don't think there's a flat piece on it. And every now and again, we watch a ball roll all over the screen and actually find the cup for the odd ace. Oh, beautifully rolling towards the hall. You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot. You have to see the shot. And that's a really good example right there. Excellent. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And he's going to move to 33 under par. All right, Frank, this one gets everybody's attention. The 14th, 481 yards, par four. Yeah, it's not just the length of this hole. Water down the left, mounds to the right. This is it. You've got to buckle up here. Tee it up. This has to be your best swing. Hmm, kind of wanted that to go a bit more right, but... Yeah, the second shot's turning gonna be out to be a wonderful tricky. Saturday of golf here, and this we're gonna have another to fine tee shot. Probably draw this, Frank. There's a lot to factor the wind in on working this against approach us. at the 14th. You can favor right side of this green and sort of allow the the contours of the green just to move that ball to the left. All right, let's let's see how this goes. The right angle just ran a little bit further than we'd like, but 
all in all. An outside Not look bad. here for Birdie. Can't see where the hole is. Oh god, there we go. Rolled a bit by. Okay, good putt, and a par here at 14. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. Just before we get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, 15 requires all of your attention, doesn't it, Frank? Personally, I think this is the prettiest hole on the golf course, Rich. I've actually often gone back there and taken pictures. Uh, just a gentle dog leg to the right. Uh, you come out of the chute, seems to be a generous fairway. You get a little view of the bunker down the right side, but virtually there's no lip there, so that's not a concern. The green, uh, all sorts of weird and wonderful waves on it, um, well protected by a big bunker on the left, and there's two little pop bunkers out in the right that, uh, well, if you're first time around, you might notice. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 156 yards left, pin is in the far back portion of the screen. We go. Oh, not bad, not too bad. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. This only about five feet for Birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a Birdie here at 15. And that's going to get him to minus 34. Frank, I think one of the things that fans love about this gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, each hole has that sort of hold your breath moment. Certainly 17, we know when that ball's in the air, you're holding your breath. Is it wet or dry? 16, same on that second shot. You're holding your breath wondering, where is it? Right in the water or left with a chance for three? That's why you don't want to get too sloppy on that tee shot. A lot of people look at 16 because there's a wide fairway and they think just get it down there. The extra 10 or 15 yards, there's a little ridge down that left side. If you catch that, the ball will kick a good 20 yards further forward. 20 yards is two clubs. I'd much rather go into 17 with a four iron than a two iron. Hmm. Hmm. Well, try to hit this. Let's try hitting this a little bit less than full. Oh, didn't actually quite make it under the green. That's, okay. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. Do a clop with some spin. And it basically right inside the cup. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Now this round finishing strong. Back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And he's going to move to minus 35 for the tournament. Frank, as a fan, it's so exciting because it's just so simple as well. Ball's in the air. You're wondering, where is it? Wet, dry, short, long, winner or loser? And it's no surprise that this hole was an accident. Yeah. This one was designed by, not Pete Dye, but his wife Alice Dye. But we have seen so many accidents right here. Yep, you gotta consider any shot on the green to be a good one here at 17, right? Now this for another birdie. Ooh, just a little too much. Right online and that'll drift a couple feet by. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain well, well under par. People always talk about 17 being visually intimidating. Frank, what about 18? 
if there's a little bit of wind off the right, the tee shot is so much easier. But if that wind is coming off the, the water, not only do you see the water and the wooden bulkheads, you see all the rough and the trees on the right. And of course, then you start bringing five, six, seven, even eight into play. That's what makes this tee shot so hard. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Frank, it's all about focus and positive imagery, isn't it, here on this approach shot at the 18th? You have to be precise with your target here. You can't be looking left at the water or mounds on the right. Plus, there's all the mounding on the screen. So, in the end, look at the flag, aim at the flag, go there. shot of the day and it is one of the best we've seen here at the closing hole. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. Huge 59. spot right here after 54 holes at the players. Our featured golfer on top of the star-studded leaderboard. Now take the pole position going into Sunday's final round. We might this actually do it, guys. We might the, tie the, peers that you're trying the, to beat. This the is lowest the round of golf ever. On the PJ Tour that is the, the PJ Tour. So uh, lowest it's a under just par. To and put I was your looking up the uh, statistics. With so, very few of uh, 13 Until next under time is for actually our the lowest. Entire cast and crew, I'm Rich Lerner. Under par. This has been a presentation of the A Sports PJ Tour golf. A, so long, a, everybody. Um, 70, I guess. Because it was 12 under. Yeah. And it was 58. And there's like just a few people that have have ever shot at 12 um 58 but it's on a par 70 this one was a par 72. yeah okay anyway cool cool what do we get for stuff okay that's done and we can't unlock anything awesome all right, guys, we will see you in the next round, the final round of the players, our first major, which is, uh, looks like it's probably going to be uh, in the bag. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.